you know, it is fitting that the royal family is first stopping here because Newfoundland was the first British colony, but indigenous peoples have been here long before colonization and we are still here today. The Heart Garden is a memory of those Indigenous children who were lost to the residential school system, but it's also in honour of those who survived the residential school. And today we have elders with us who, even though they survived, they felt the pain that came with being at a residential school. An event like this, to have the, the prince and the duchess be here to see the importance of the meaning of the residential schools and what happened to the, a lot of the children. And I think it's good to get it out there. And uh, I think this was really great. It was very strengthening as well. Being a residential school survivor, I mean, you can't help but feel the pain still. I mean, you'll have that pain for the rest, you know, till you die, really. I mean, it's in you. I hope they did take something away when they left and think about what went on years ago with children and there's still children to be found yet, you know. So I mean, it's uh, reconciliation is it's going to have to go on for a long while yet. Getting a mutual respect for each other. That's what we have to really uh, consider here when we're talking about reconciliation. Like, uh, they didn't do it to, to our people, like, you know, and, and they're, they're willing to come and reconcile it and uh, start the process of reconciliation, and which is good, and that's what we want. We want the healing process to, to be on, ongoing until we all heal together. Baby, I'm scared. This visit with the royal family would have been an incredible opportunity to implement TRC 45, which calls for the Government of Canada in partnership with Indigenous peoples to develop a royal proclamation on reconciliation. And it's unfortunate that that didn't happen this time, but there is hope for the future and hopefully there'll be many more opportunities. It is with the greatest respect that both my wife and I begin our visit to these homelands that have been lived in and cared for by indigenous peoples, First Nations, Métis, and Inuit, for thousands of years. I really, really appreciate um, the words that were said here today by Prince Charles. And it really feels good to know that uh, indigenous people are being recognized and our history is being recognized. And, um, I'm very hopeful for the future.